Good evening, my friends. How are you? I hope you guys are doing very well. Welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is the last speaking. As usual, before we proceed to the analysis, we need to check what's going on with the signals uh, from the premium group, and I believe it's really doing very well. Um, I didn't get the signals. Oh, sorry, I didn't get the results from Angela until now. I hope by next week I will get them. But I have received this video from one of the, one of the members who is in the premium group and we can see here he's showing me this trade uh, this trade sorry and he's showing that he's making a lot of profit I'm to be honest with you I'm not really sure if this is demo or real account but I really hope it's real otherwise I don't see any point of being uh, in the paid group where he's paying $50 a month but anyway that is very nice what I'm seeing here uh, these are actually let me show you these are the signals from the Early, early in July, I think the first week of July or maybe the last week of, of June But he sent me this one just last um, Last Wednesday, I think or last Tuesday. Oh, sorry, maybe even Monday. I'm not sure. But anyway uh, It's really good what he's sharing with me now. I'm really happy to see this very good performance very nice And I'm happy to see it again. Thanks to Angela for her good performance and if you wish my friends to join the premium group you can contact Angela, you can find her link in the description. Please contact her today so you can catch up with the signals which will start next Monday. Uh, one more thing we need to talk about is the copier service. I can hear everyone talking about it in the comments on YouTube and Facebook, even uh, messages on Telegram. Uh, there are a lot of members who are asking me about the copier service. Yeah, it has been delayed. But I will explain later the reason for this delay. We are facing really a lot of issues with the copier service. It's just um, making it uh, getting uh, delayed even more. But I'm going to share with you soon what's happening and I will make everything clear. So until then, guys, uh, please uh, stay tuned. We're going to share with you a lot of cool stuff. So let's go now to the main subject of the video and let's go now and talk about the weekly market analysis for this coming week. Uh, let's start as usual with the euro USD now on the daily chart for the euro USD What I can see is that the euro USD is right now on a really very strong support uh, support zone and we can see here uh, Double bottom has been performed also um, What we can see as well is that this zone with uh, which I have drawn here Not even one single candle was able to close below this level. We can see the market or the candle has actually closed exactly on the same level and this candle here it tried to break from this level but it couldn't and in the end there is another week here and allow me to zoom in so you can see clear yeah now we can see this week here it indicated that this level of the support is really strong then we can see the final bearish uh, breakout from this level but after that after performing double uh, double bottom, we can see again another bearish, uh, sorry, another bullish momentum broken from this uh, support level easily. And again, the same scenario happened here. Now it's repeated itself right here. The same candles not able to close below this level. And even here, the candle just reached this level and reversed, creating a, a reversal pin bar just uh, with the long tail. And here also we can see the market not able to go below this level. What is what is that indicating? That's indicating a really strength level of the support on the same level here. And if we go to the four hour chart, we can see how the market also uh, reversing right here. And Friday night, the candle closed as a small or actually as a big pin bar. And I don't think the Euro USD is going down at all. Uh, it seems like it's going uh, to fly from this level and start to make a strong bullish uh, momentum or reversal from this point. That's why I believe, and let me just uh, be clear here, um, Euro USD actually should be really good to buy currently at the main at the meantime here. So maybe we need to wait for the market to enter this support zone, and once the market enters this zone here. It's ranging between 20 pips, which is fine. We can start buying the Euro USD once the market enters this uh, support zone at any moment. We don't know how the market will open uh, on Monday. 
that I'm expecting it to open a little bit lower point like this point here or maybe here hopefully it will be here so we can start buying the euro USD and it will be a good idea to hold the position all the way until only you know what until only this uh, this resistance right here so euro USD should be good for buy oh sorry uh, should be good for buy if it enters this support zone here like that and we can start or so you can close the trade with the profit once the market reached this level giving approximately 100 pips uh, of profit for buying the euro usd so again euro usd should be nice for buy and hopefully it will be a good trade let's now jump to the pound usd the pound USD has made really strong bearish uh, momentum or sorry strong bearish uh, trend last week and I still believe it should go up at any moment I believe there was some news on the uh, on the UK government or something like that I'm not sure uh, something happened I believe that yes I don't to be honest I don't remember it right now but the market if we put the support line like this we can see how it couldn't below go below this level then on this level it just went right below it and then again reverse and went more up and here as well the market tried to break from this support level it just couldn't it was a fake breakout even this one here we can see it was also a fake breakout as well that's why i believe the pound should be start bouncing on the same support level right here it should be good to buy immediately a uh, pound should be good to buy immediately and we can start buying the pound uh, at the opening uh, of the UK session on Monday and to be fair I believe it will be good to keep our position I'm trying to find the best spot right here exactly so that should be a sweet 120 pips of profit uh, we don't know where, how the market will open on Monday but that is depending on where the market is gonna open for example if the market will open at this point then this signal is invalid we cannot uh, start buying the pound USD because our entry is gonna be really way too late that's why if you see the pound going a little bit more down to this support for example then it will be nice to start buying the pound and hopefully it will reach our target uh, before the end of the week let's check now the AUD USD AUD USD I have given it a lot of thoughts because um, we can see here there is a be uh, bearish sorry a bullish breakout from this uh, resistance right here correct that is nice but the thing is there is not really a strong support on the left we can see this one but that is not really a strong support that's the strongest support is right here these two levels these are the key supports uh, of the zone and if we drag the line like that yes exactly exactly so we can have now better and accurate uh, more uh, more accurate results so what i believe is the AUD USD, uh, the next candle on monday it will open here and it will go all the way down to this support level then from this level we can start buying AUD USD, and we can keep the position until it hit this resistance now the catch here that this might not happen as well and maybe the AUD USD will fly more up uh, bouncing on this resistance like that and it might go a little bit more down again to hit the support level then from the support you can start buying AUD USD so it all depends on how the candle will open on Monday morning if the candle will open below at this level right here then buying AUD USD will be a good idea and again you can keep your position until reaching this resistance uh, level uh, expected 177 pips of profit but the problem if the market has opened or the candle on Monday morning opened right here for example then avoid it and just wait to see what will gonna happen wait to see any price action because in general I believe AUD USD is going up it is gonna make a bullish momentum but we just need to be sure where to place our trade uh, I highly advise you to not uh, enter 
above this support level don't rush don't uh, risk uh, to enter this trade because I have a feeling that it should actually in the end reach the same level of this support level no matter what even if it go a little bit more up I believe it should go a little bit more down reaching the support and then start shooting more up so we have to wait to see how what will gonna happen for the AUD USD let's check now the USD CAD USD CAD uh, it seems like if we look at the left let me tell you something what we can see here the USD CAD is actually ranging for quite long time on daily chart it's ranging for the whole week on the same level now there is something we need to look at the left here what we can see on the left if we just uh, make a zone like that we can see here the pair is ranging on this very strong resistance so if I want to be more clear I can draw the resistance like that so we can see on this level we had the resistance right here and after the breakout from this resistance we can see the support attempts so this resistance has become a support and even here we can see the candle barely touch this level of the line where I have drawn it and it just reversed again here and then now the market trying to grow uh, to break up from this level now the market closed on Monday, uh, Friday night below this level and that is really interesting don't underestimate that the breakout from the, the candle couldn't close above this level also it is right now here on this resistance meaning that the general direction should be actually going down I'm expecting the market to fall down after this level so what we can look for let me now switch to the four hour chart on the four hour chart we can see the market has indeed reversed from this resistance and we can see this candle the last candle closed Friday night uh, on the four hour chart it really went up you can see this wick here the candle tried to went up to this resistance and then reversed meaning the reversal could have happened already so we can expect to start selling the uh, USD CAD immediately because I don't believe it's going up at this point USD CAD seems to be like going down all the way until it reach this support level right here if we look here we can see that we have here this strong support which has also a key support in the past and that is very important this is strong bearish momentum is not uh, easy on the USD CAD I think it should continue to fall more down until it reach not even this support but even this support but for the meantime for the current week I believe the USD CAD should be start uh, should be good to start selling um, at this point right here exactly where it is right now and you can keep your position not for quite so long because you can set your stop loss if you see the candle break out from this uh, resistance level but that's gonna cost you a lot of pips that's why I highly advise you if you can wait and be more patient wait for the USD CAD to reach all the way up to this resistance it might reach this resistance and then start selling the USD CAD uh, on the same line here and keep your trade running until it hit this support level so again we start selling the USD CAD right here and exit the trade right here that should gi should give me about 100 pips of profit and uh, hopefully it's gonna happen let's go now to the USD GPY USD GPY is still tricking and playing mind games with everyone because <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense uh, it has been ranging for really long time on the same support zone here on this uh, support level uh, it's uh, ranging for a really long time for almost a month yeah almost a month 20, 28 May uh, 3rd of June yeah um, it's a really long time so let me explain to you something um, what we can see here is that the USD GPY is making a reversal from the support here we can see oh shit we can see you as oh my god what is this hold on guys all right okay so we can see here we have this support level and the USD GPY has just bounced on this support here as well so it's created a support number two now what we can do 
is now switch to the four hour chart and see where we can find any good entry for buy because I think the USDGPY should be good to buy at certain point. Uh, USDGPY has went all the way up to this resistance. Uh, it also had here a resistance number one and here it made a resistance number two and then the candle closed as the spin bar on Friday night. What we can think of is the market will go down all the way to hit the same level of the support right here. Uh, let me just uh, draw my line here right on it exactly like that. So what we can think here is that the USDGPY might actually go a little bit down to this support level, the same support here, before it starts to fly more up. Now what is the good entry here? Again I'm telling you it will be buy for the USDGPY but not immediately at all. We need to wait for it to reach the support level. Um, 107.465 or sorry four, uh, four, uh, 107.468 sorry the number is just, is just so small and we can start buying the USDGPY and to be safe we can keep the position all the way until only this uh, resistance here only we can expect the market to go up to this resistance but that's gonna be a lot actually that will be, yeah, just 80 pips, yeah, should be fine, should be fine, I think, yes, should be fine. We can expect the USDGPY to go all the way up at some point after reaching the support to hit this uh, resistance zone. And then after that, we can see what will gonna happen uh, depending on the price action we're gonna see. Let's now jump to the USDCHF. Now, USDCHF, um, that should be easy to analyze, actually. USDCHF has bounced right on this resistance. We can see on the left we had this resistance which has become after the bearish breakout. We can see here on the last we have this bearish breakout candle, right? And Friday night the market tried to reach this resistance level and indeed it reached it but immediately it reversed and it closed as a pin bar. This price action usually indicating a, a bullish momentum or a bullish reversal like that. So I'm expecting um, Monday morning we can see the USD CHF in general the USD CHF is going down actually. What I, what I meant to say here is just a candle to appear that it might go a little bit more up hitting this resistance as well and then it will continue to fall more down. That's why I believe the USD CHF should be good to start selling if you see it reach this level right here, just let me be accurate. Mm. I believe here, if it reaches 0 0.98328, should be good to start selling. That is just like 20 pips. If you see it reach this level, you can start selling the USDCHF immediately uh, and keep your position until uh, it reaches 120 pips of profit because it should go down all the way to this support level here. That should be a sweet, sorry, 90 or 87 pips of profit. Uh, hopefully it's gonna happen. And again, I'm on the daily chart. That's why we need to be careful when we trade. Yeah, we can see it now on the four hour chart. It's really clear. We had this resistance and this one as well. And the market has reversed from the same level of the resistance after having this bearish breakout candle. And we can see it almost uh, showing symptoms of reversal. Uh, again, I'm telling it might go a little bit more up to the same uh, level of the resistance. Then you can start again selling the USDCHF. Now let's go to the gold. My forecast for the gold last week was uh, a bit accurate. And I hope you guys just exited the trade on the right uh, time. I said that we can start selling the, U the gold on this resistance and exit your trade once it reached the support level. And that is exactly what happened. It was approximately uh, 70 or f uh, 60 pips of profit, which is totally fine. But the thing is, uh, gold is really sensitive right now. Um, I really prefer to not give the signal for the gold. I believe it's uh, risky to trade gold, but let me go for it anyway. Uh, ex let me explain to you that gold should actually be really good to start selling immediately. The reason is we are right now on this resistance. 
and we can see the market on Friday night it tried to reach this resistance level and if we look at the left we can see the resistance right here and right here and right here as well so the market has actually tried to go up here now we need to see how the mon how the candle will open Monday morning but I believe the ca the gold should be start should be good for sale right on this level exactly on 100 1426 and then you can keep your position all the way until it hit this support level it's really really not recommended to keep your trade on the gold for quite long time uh, aiming a lot of pips is not really advised this is 120 pips which is too much actually for the gold and it's risky but I believe it should be good as an act of scalping uh, if we look at add, uh, if you look at the chart uh, from technical term so you, uh, gold should be start uh, should be good for selling at this point and you can keep your position only until this point here let me go a little bit more down like that yes that's it don't go below that that don't even expect uh, don't keep your trade for a long time on the gold please that is really risky I don't want anyone to lose because of uh, my advice so again gold should be good to sell until it reach the support and then exit your trade and hopefully things will be fine if it goes against you I don't think gold will exceed this level of 1433 unless there was some unexpected news from the US or from the uh, about oil or gold or, or whatever any unexpected news of course I don't take any responsibility for it but from technical view gold should be good for start selling right at this point and if it goes against you I don't expect it to exceed this level and from here at least it might start to go more down all the way until hitting this support level so my friends that was everything for the forecast for this upcoming week and I really hope uh, I'm I didn't take much of your time sorry I know it's a long video but I hope uh, I have explained well about the copier service why has it been delayed and I hope it will be a very profitable week for everyone so again I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching